so hello everyone in this video we'll be setting up our server so before that we have to install some packages that which are needed in our project so let's install them by using npm install or you can just simply write npm i and then you have to specify the project or uh, basically the packages that you will be uh, using so first of all we have to use dot env because we'll be using dot env files uh, for writing the credentials in the separate file dot uh, env and the for writing our server we'll be using express framework basically and after that uh, you can install cores as well to not get the cores error which are uh, cro cross platform errors basically so when you are sending a request from the front end to the back end uh, sometimes we get those errors cross origin errors so to solve that we are using cores and then we can also use mongoose because mongoose uh, will be the schema management tool that we'll be using uh, for writing our schema in Node.js and for uh, creating our database basically we'll be creating our models for mongodb models are basically uh, the structure of our collections which will be uh, in which we'll be storing the database like in which we'll be storing our fields uh, for example users and other things when we'll be doing that i'll be explaining uh, you in more detail let's install them first dot env express course and mongoose so i think these are these are four main uh, packages that you have to install in the backend after the installation is completed uh, we can jump to our server.js file and first of all we have to require the express package we can require express then we can create a simple app variable or a constant which is nothing but uh, the express uh, functions uh, object basically after that we have to also require dot env although we are not using dot env for now but we'll be uh, configuring it because we'll be connecting with our database and we'll be storing the database credential in the dot env file also what we can do is we can also initialize or require the course package which is this one and after that what I can do is I can initialize some middleware so app.use is used basically to write some middlewares express middlewares that you want to uh, run between the uh, request and the response basically between that so if you want to run some code so that you can use with the help of app.use and this will uh, basically run for every request which is made to this backend server uh, for this i'll be running the course first because i don't want the course errors course are basically i told you that what is this error so when sometimes we send something from the backend or like the front end then it generates that so cross origin request you can search about that you can learn about it in more detail and then you have to also use express.json because we want uh, we'll be sending our data in the json format from the front end so to understand that data we have to uh, add this middleware express.json which will basically uh, add that header uh, that tells that this is the application json data so it will uh, allow all the routes we'll be creating in this in the backend to understand our json data basically and then after that you can simply write app.listen and now we'll be creating our port in a .env file so i'll be writing a .env file and inside that i'll be writing a port variable and in that i'll be storing the uh, port number let's say 5000 don't put semicolon here now i'll be uh, getting the port in a separate port constant and then I'll be writing process dot env 
dot then the name of the variable that we have or basically this assignment we have to write if it doesn't found uh, uh, that so we can add a fallback key as well like fallback port number as well so it works on sometimes on the production if uh, this uh, packet doesn't work so we will be or this file is deleted then at that time uh, this port will be run as a default then after that I can specify the port number in the listen uh, this will basically listen for listen on this port number and it will start our server on this port number so all the requests will be made to this port number localhost and then this port number because we are running in the localhost right so all the requests will be made to this port number and we can also add a callback function in which will be run successfully or which will give us after this this is uh, successfully run and then we can add a callback function and write something let's say for oh, servo started let's say servo started at port and then I can specify the port number so I'm using uh, the formatted uh, string basically so you can also use that or you can use plus symbol to append that port variable so after that what you can do is in the package.json file you have to uh, write two initial commands like basically uh, one will be your dev command so this dev command will be running for the nordmon nordmon is a package that you can install and uh, this will allow us to uh, like re restart if we make any changes in the backend files so it will restart the server automatically you don't have to stop the server and start that it will automatically do that so nordmon is a very uh, popular package you can install install it you can you can install it globally because you don't have to install it for a particular project you can install it globally uh, by using npm install dash gn then it will be installed globally and then the package name basically this and on nordmon so you can write nordmon start and then server.js which is the file name basically and after that you can also write the start command this start command is basically for the production because in the production we don't want to rerun the server server.js file or the server file uh, we only want it to be running uh, only one time like at the initial time we don't want uh, any changes in that right so we'll be not making any changes in the backend files in the production that's why we don't need a uh, nordmon there and then after that you can uh, for this you just have to write simply nord and then your file name which is, which is basically server.js file in our case so this will be running you will be writing npm start in the production uh, and this uh, dev command you will be running in the development so if i save it let's say if i uh, make any changes uh, first of all let me just run it with a simple uh, start command by using npm start if i do that so you can see nod server.js is running why because i'm i'm writing nod server.js in the start script basically so this is running on port 5000 if you make any changes let's say if you remove this middleware if you save that so this will not take effect unless you start your server again so basically you have to stop it and then you have to again write this command which is npm start then it will know that okay this middleware is gone it will not restart the server for you if you make changes in your files so that is uh, basically we use it when your backend is completed and you want to shift it to production so that is for that but if you're in the development you don't have to do this you can run the dev command which we wrote here with the help of nordmon package which is a very great package you can use for development uh, you can write npm run dev and then this will run the file or the server with the help of this command let me just press enter so npm run dev will run this script basically you can see the interface is different and it is running with the help of nordmon now if you make changes let's say if you uh, get back those like middlewares so if you save the file it will automatically restart the server for you 
you can see it is restarting so this is it i think uh, this package you can use for the development and we have also completed our initial setup for the server.js file uh, in the next video we'll be uh, learning more about and we'll be adding the mongodb database in this so let's meet in the next video thank you for watching